rewarded guys god bless so today's video we're going to talk about forgiveness that God forgive you of your sins now Jesus died on the cross so you could be forgiven of your sins and forgiveness is forgiving your neighbor for what he has done or forgiving people for God's if you forgive other of their sins God will forgive you of your sins so forgiveness is key forgiveness is what others did to you in the past and forgive them for it I've been through this a lot so yes I do forgive everyone in my past but when people change you start forgiving people <laughs> so let's get started ladies and gentlemen so I'm gonna try to make this short as possible today because I want to take a break after a while and stuff uh, I'll put another video next week but somewhere I am gonna take a break where I can make videos for a while so I hope you understand that why I don't make videos but I'll still make videos and put them out here. Not like I stopped now. <laughs> it's much better to take a break once in a while and think things over. So we have more experience to talk about things. So let's get started on forgiveness versus. Here we go. Luke 6 27. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn. And you will not be condemned. Forgive, you will be forgiven. The Bible verse is trying to say it like Luke. It says, Do not judge, you will be judged. Do not condemn, you will be condemned. Forgive, you will be forgiven. You see what this Bible verse is trying to say? You forgive others. If you forgive, you're forgiven. So, that's the way it works, so. There's nothing else to really explain about this one by over. This is what this one part is quick. <laughs> Matthew 6, 14-15 For if you forgive other people of their sins against you, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you of your sins. But if you do not forgive other their sins, your Heavenly Father will not forgive you. Matthew 6, what this Bible verse is trying to say, like Luke, no, not Luke, it's Matthew. So, <laughs> if you forgive others, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. If you don't forgive people, your Heavenly Father will not forgive you. And this is true. You better forgive other people. How God's forgive you of your sins? If you can't forgive in your heart for other people that you are too stubborn to forgive those people you're too stubborn and too angry at those people that means you still have sin in your life and God has not forgiven you of that so forgive people what the Bible verse is trying to say okay we confess our sins he is faithful and just and forgive us our sins it cleanses us for all our righteousness John 1 John 1 9 5 verse 8 if we confess our sins he will forgive us our sins he will cleanse us from all our righteousness if you just confess your life today and surrender accept Jesus Christ in your heart as the Lord and Savior because he died for you on the cross he is raised he lives so he can't forgive you of your sins. If you surrender, give your life, he will forgive you. This is what the video is about today. But if you're already a Christian and already have Jesus Christ in your life, there's no need for this prayer. But for the people out there that doesn't have Jesus in their lives, 
I gotta help you. So, if you don't have Jesus in your life, if you feel like you need to pray this prayer, confess all your sins. You can add whatever you want into it. I won't judge you. But you just have to ask Jesus to forgive you and have mercy on you for all your sins. And cleanse you from all it. You put to say, you put to cleanse me, Lord. Cleanse me from all my unrighteousness, all the sins I have done in my life. I confess it all to you, Lord. I surrender it all. I confess it all. I surrender all to you. I give my whole entire life to you, Lord. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I ask you to come in my heart and help me to receive the Holy Spirit. And help me to live my straight life and help me live my life the way you want it, Lord. Help me today, please, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's all you have to say. But you have to really mean it. You have to fill it in your heart. You have to really mean it. You have to surrender all entire, your whole entire life. But if you don't surrender your whole entire life and just say, forgive me, it's not going to work out that way. You're supposed to humble yourself. Humble yourself before the cross. And confess your sins. That's the only way it works. So. Wherever you ask to your Heavenly Father, He will answer it. So, thanks for watching, guys. I know it was kind of short, and it wasn't that long, so. I hope you like it anyways. I forgot my tripod. It's kind of a funny day because I left my bio at home. But that's okay. Things happen, don't they? <laughs> so, like this video if you had liked this video. And subscribe if you like what my channel is about. Subscribe and support my ministry. But, hit the bell button to get you know when I put a video up, that's what it's for. We hit the bell button, it gives you a notification when a video pops up. And it'll be right there to watch and ready. I just hope you are still watching my videos and still reach out to people. Because you'll be doing me a favor every time you do that. And I'll be reaching out to people. You need to hear the gospel message. I just hope I'll let you know. So. Thank you guys. God bless you. I happy. I have a small amount of fans. But. God will keep blessing my ministry. God will keep a God guiding me. I don't have to worry about it. So, thank you. God bless. May you love one another as Christ loved the church. Well, you know what it's going to. Bye.